So Alexa has been doing really well. We're, introduced, uh, we're introducing here at the show a new evolutionary step for the Alexa, the SXT. The SXT, like their predecessor, has the same sensor, 3.4K sensor, same open gate, 4x3, Airy Raw ProRes, and a maximum frames per second of 120 frames a second. But we're using the electronics from the Alexa 65. We're using the image processing chain, the pixel correction from the 65, color management and noise reduction from the Amira, and we have a new media bay and new hard drives. The lineup, we're going to have an SXT EV, SXT Plus, SXT Studio. Since now we have the Mini, there will not be an X SXTM. And the Alexa, the original, original Alexa remains in the program, but we're renaming it Alexa Classic EV. Um, there are five new features, and I'll run you through each one of those briefly. The first one of those is with the processing power of the 65 and the um, new image processing chain, we can do a mild up res in camera from the 3.4 to 4K, and there's two different variants. There is 3.2 to 3.8, which is UHD, and then there's 3.4 to 4096, which is 4K Cine. So any 4K format you want, you can get from the Alexa SXT. The first one of those, the ProRes 4K UHD, also the Amira and the Alexa Mini. We share that with those two cameras. Because we have the new image processing chain, the pixel correction, and the optional noise reduction, noise reduction will be off by default, we're going to have better image quality than with the previous Alexa cameras. And also, we're, going to, we're using the same color management that the Amira does, which means we can do three full 3D lookup tables, ASC color decision list, and then new in the Alexa, we will support REC 2020 Gamma. So as soon as REC 2020 monitors become available, the Alexa will be able to supply an image to those monitors. Um, at the booth now, we're showing very brand new. We have live grading on the set, which means currently Pomford Life Grade can connect to the Alexa and change the CDL values live, which replaces all the boxes that the DIT would have on their DIT card. We have the same tools available for Alexa, LX, SXT, Alexa Mini, and Amira, so that'll make things simpler. And the SXT has three fully independent HD out SDI outputs that you can configure however you want to, making the DIT's life very easy. The new media bay supports the SXR capture drive. We've developed the media bay and the drives together with Codex. We're um, working together with them very well. They have 20 gigabits per second data rate, which is really, really fast. And they come in one terabyte or two terabyte. Now, this is the new media bay. There's an adapter. We figured going with the blue and the red together makes purple. I think we may have to adjust the type of purple slightly. Um, the, ca the cameras will support the new SXR capture drives, but we're also going to support the existing XR capture drives, the SPS Pro and SPS Pro Plus cards, and the um, CFast 2.0 cards, each with a separate adapter. There's an upgrade available for anybody who's purchased an Alexa XT before the 1st of uh, January 2015. Um, there's an upgrade available, a paid-for upgrade, very similar in price to the current XR upgrade. This is called the SXR upgrade. It's the new boards as well as the new side cover, mm -hmm. and that gets you all the SXT features, except it might not have all the future upgrade potential. And I have to be very vague here because there's a number of things we're working on. I just don't know which ones of those are going to work out. Some of those may only go into new SXT cameras and not into the upgraded SXR cameras. And then we have a special for anybody who's purchased an XT camera this year, we're actually going to give them a full SXT upgrade for free. So if you've purchased a camera in February or if you're going to purchase another XT camera right now, you get a full SXT upgrade for free. And that includes all the future upgrade potential of the SXT camera. And then, of course, we still have, as we already had, the upgrade from the EV version to the Plus version of the Alexa, and that costs the same amount of money, of money it has cost before. There's a couple of things we kicked out. We don't support DNX HD anymore because there just was not enough demand to make it worthwhile. We don't support fiber remote option, the smaller size SPS Pro cards, and then the Alexa look file gets replaced by a new look file, and the CDL server function gets replaced by the metadata of the new look file. Availability, we're looking at the middle of 2015. As you may have noticed, we have a lot of new cameras right now. Our manufacturing is uh, cooking along. Um, and the first software update will support Airy RAW and the new SXR capture drives only. And two months later, there'll be a second software update that'll support ProRes and all the other media types. 
Until the SXT is available, we'll continue to sell the, the XT cameras. And those, by the way, have been going really, really well. In fact, more than we expected. So we had to ramp up production on SXT cameras this year beyond our expectations, which is always a good place to be in. Um, one very brief other thing, we've had software update packet 11 for the current Alexa Classic <coughs> and Alexa XT. That's been very, very popular. People like it a lot, specifically the option to record ProRes 3.2K in the XT cameras. The post houses like it because they can take ProRes 3.2K do the post-production with a relatively low data rate of 3.2K and then up to 4K UHD at the very end. They actually prefer that over getting 4K UHD in to begin with because that's a higher data rate. 